Hello everyone. Welcome to the next session on Answers for Great Tutorials. In this session, we are going to analyze a disk break rotor for static structural analysis. We will start by double clicking on static structural. Next, I'll go to geometry and right click. Import geometry. I have already made the geometry, so I directly imported it. You can refer the previous video for knowing how to make the model. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll first go to mesh and change the sizing to fine and update. Next, I'll go to static structural and choose fix support. On this surface, I'll give fix support. On this face, I am going to apply pressure. I will give a pressure of 2 megapascal. As the object is in rotation, so here we are going to apply rotational velocity. I will choose the entire body, right click and insert rotational velocity. I will give a magnitude of say 55 radians per second and I'll choose the axis, apply. You can see this body is moving with anti-clockwise rotation. We have applied pressure to bring it to a halt. This is a rotor and here we are going to apply a pressure. Also on this side it is fixed. So now we will go to solution and insert deformation total. Strain equivalent, stress equivalent. Also, I'll go to fatigue and choose the fatigue tool. I will go to mean stress theory and change it to Goodman theory. I'll right click on fatigue tool and insert life. I'll also right click and insert damage. Here, I'll go to tools and choose the stress tool. Here I can see the safety factor. Now I'll go to solution and solve. I'll go to total deformation. And this is the total deformation that I can see over the body. The maximum value is 0 0.2281 mm. You can animate and check the result over the body. Next, I'll go to strain. The maximum value of strain induced over this body is 0 0.0028. You can see here the maximum value is here. If you want, you can go to probe and click on max and min. You can see where the value of strain is maximum and where it is minimum. Again, you can animate and check this result. Next, I'll go to stress. The maximum stress induced over this body is 564.26 megapascal. This is the place where the stress is maximum and here it is minimum. You can just animate and check the result. Next, I'll go to fatigue tool and see this result. I want to see the life of this object. It is showing maximum as 1 into 10 raised to 6. And minimum it is showing somewhere as 1053.6. So you can see here, in this zone, your life is going to reduce a bit. And rest of the area is going to be safe. 
Now this is because there is fixed row here and this body is also under rotational velocity because it's a rotor. So obviously it's going to rotate. And when you apply pressure to bring it to a halt, then there will be some loss of material and the life is going to reduce. You can see here this is the damage which shows your design life. Your design life is 1 into 10 raised to 9 cycles. It is made for those number of cycles, but it is going to work maximum for 1 into 10 raised to 6 cycles. And the minimum value you can see here also in the result, the left hand side corner, it is showing 1053.6 cycles, which means it can fail after this as well. Next, we will see the safety factor. You can see here your body is having a safety factor of 5. It's orangish in most of the places and here you can see again the safety factor is less 5 and in rest of the places it is varying between 5 to 10 and some places it is blue in color which means it is having a value of 15. So there are certain areas which are going to be subjected to lesser safety factor which means your body will have some chances of failure and you need to be careful with those areas. The wear and tear of these zones is going to be more, so you need to be careful. Also, you can see here that the minimum value is given as 0 0.44. So, I want to see where is this value. So, I'll click on probe max min. I can see here at this place, this value is maximum. But here is the place where it is again minimum. It is even lesser than the orange color, which means it is this value of 0 0.44. So, this zone is very critical. As we have seen, the strain, stress, deformation, the life is less in this zone and so is the factor of safety. So what you can do is, this zone needs to be managed again and again, which means the maintenance of this zone is very important. Also, when you design, you need to check the material that you are using there, such that it is having more material either to have more factor of safety or maybe it should have a material which has higher yield strength so that the object is more safer when you apply this kind of pressure and rotational velocity. So that's how you analyze a disc brake rotor for its static structural analysis. I hope you have understood the analysis. If you have any doubts, Please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.